What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Now I'm pumped to get into this one because I've actually got 10 items to show you this week, which is a little bit more than what I normally do. If you're watching it for the very first time, I do these videos every single Sunday. And really the sole purpose is to help you out there as a reseller find the same item and sell it for the same profit. So if you're watching for the first time, give this video a like and a subscribe. It really does help the YouTube channel out a lot. I don't want to muck around today because there are 10 items to get through, so let's get into it. I'm going to kick things off today, guys, with a pair of Adidas Nitro Charge 1.0 men's footy boots. These were an awesome find in the op shop. I paid $15 for them, which is a whole lot more than what I'd normally pay, but I knew that they used to retail for around $260. So once I did the comps, they actually worked out to be around that $75 range. So whacked them up as a buy it now on eBay for $75 plus postage, and within five days, these ones sold on eBay. So the black and yellow, really plain, but they were a very good make and a very good condition pair, probably a 9 out of 10. So that's exactly what you want to look for. You want to do your comps to make sure they're worth a bit. You want to make sure obviously they're in good condition. But with the footy boots, I think it doesn't need to be any time of year to be buying them. I think you can buy footy boots year round and they will sell. Um, so this was an awesome result within five days. Take fees and taxes on eBay. It's probably about a $50 profit. So really pumped with this one. Good one to kick it off today. Keep a look out for the footy boots because they do sell for some pretty good profit. The next item that I've got for you guys is a pair of Miami Heat Hardwood Classics men's basketball shorts. Now these were ripping find in the op shop. I paid $6 for them. Um, and these Miami Heat basketball shorts, they are worth quite a bit of money when you do find them. The Hardwood Classic brand is a really good brand to look for from an authentication uh, point of view. Um, so if you find the caps or the shorts or the jerseys, anything like that, anything Hardwood Classics is a really good start. Um, these were in really good condition. The Miami Heat are actually playing some very good basketball in the NBA right now, which I think has ultimately helped the sale of this one. It was priced at $49 and it's lowered down to $35 only just yesterday and they sold yesterday. So I think my pricing change had a whole lot to do with this sale coming through. And I think there's a good piece of advice there for you is to constantly keep looking at your listings and keep tinkering with the price points because I bought these for six and I'd listed them initially for 49. I didn't need to hold that profit if it wasn't gonna sell. These were up for 19 days. So by dropping the price yesterday, the sale came through within a few hours. So just goes to show, if you keep an eye on your listings and you do manipulate your pricing, you will pick up a couple more sales. So made $29 on these, a 19 day turnaround from the, the purchase, but I did only buy them for $6. Um, so yeah, really cool item, item number two, the Miami Heat basketball shorts. Third item that I've got for you today, guys, is a plush toy for the My Little Pony range. Um, these ones sell really well. They're a popular uh, plush toy to get. Um, I managed to sell this one for $29.99 on eBay. That was including free postage. So you take that out, it's about $19.75, and you take out my $6 purchase price, I made about $13.74 on this one. So this one had a 20-day turnaround. Um, I think over the next few months, that's gonna be a little bit more fast-tracked. I think leading into Christmas, the plush toys will be purchased. So I'm gonna buy a few more of these. It was good to get this sale here this week, um, but I paid $6 and I do like to try and pay a little bit less than that. Anything under five is a good result for the plush. Um, but I really do think I've, I've put it into the video this week because I really do think it's gonna be one that's gonna make a few people money over the next few months leading into Christmas. So um, I bought a few more, hopefully they sell, but the first one off the bat here was the My Little Pony, um, a great brand of plush toy to get into. So item number three, the plush toy. The next item was a piece of exercise equipment I found for free off Facebook Marketplace. It's probably not one that I'd go and search for again because it is massive and it's heavy and it's, yeah, it's just not something you want to have hanging around the house for too long. Um, but it was the Vitality 600 Vibration Machine. Now, these ones you can actually do some lunges and some squats and it's a full uh, body vibration. Um, it does actually help out you know, weight loss and things like that. So people do actually look for these machines. I know a lot of the uh, elite footy clubs actually have them. Um, and that was the reason or, or the background as to why I thought I'd pick this one up. It was a free item off Facebook Marketplace. So again, that was another reason why I thought I'd just secure it. If you're buying electronics or gym equipment for free, you're gonna make some money. So it was just a case that this one did hold at the house for about three weeks and it was a big item. So that kind of sucked, but um, ended up moving it for $50. I did outlandishly put it up for $150. So that's probably uh, stalled the process of sale but um, it slowly worked its way down to $50 and then somebody bid at 50. Um, so I was happy to make the 50 bucks on this. Um, probably wouldn't buy it again, but uh, the Vibration Vitality 600 exercise machine. Um, if you do see them, people do buy them. 
My fifth item of the day, guys, is a piece of furniture that you would have seen me put up a few times now on, on my What Sold videos on a Sunday. It was the white dresser table. Um, it's got the mirror, it's got the drawers. Uh, it's a really nice piece for the kids' bedroom. And they go like crazy. They just, as soon as they go up on Marketplace, they sell in an instant. And especially when you find them on Marketplace for $50, you have got to be quick. Um, luckily this week I was quick enough and, and managed to pinch this one for $50. Uh, not, a lot, not a lot of work needed to be done to it. I just uh, screwed up the legs to make them a little bit tighter and I had to tighten up the mirror as well because that was a little bit flimsy. So maybe that was their reasoning for dropping it down to $50, but I was happy to grab this one and actually go ahead and move it for $150 plus a $20 delivery, which worked out to be a $170 sale for a $120 profit. Um, not uncommon with the white dresser tables to make the $150 odd dollar mark. Um, buying it for $50, you're always gonna make about 100 bucks with the white dresser tables. They are probably my most favorite furniture item because the rate of sale is usually same day. Um, but they're just in that much demand and when you're finding them and buying them for 50 bucks, um, that $100 profit margin is, is always gonna be there for you. So awesome result there, item number five. I've done about three of them now. Uh, the kids' white dresser table. For those of you who tuned into my Day in the Life episode just last Thursday, you would have seen me pick up this guy, which is a $50 antique style desk that I secured on the Wednesday night on Facebook Marketplace. Picked it up first thing in the morning on the Thursday, gave it a really good scrub and, and took some really awesome photos of it. And I listed it on the very same day that I bought it on Facebook Marketplace. I was inundated. I had eight messages. It sold after I'd done all my filming, which kind of sucked because I would love to capture the footage. Um, but it was, yeah, nine o'clock at night, the very same day it sold, um, eight messages for this one, inundated. Um, I listed it for 225, it sold for 225. I made $175 same day profit, so it was a fantastic result. But I don't like to mark pending for another reason in, in the sense that I do like to judge the level of interest that flows until the item actually does sell. Um, for, more so for future reference. So like this antique style desk for 225 with eight you know people messaging me. Next time I get one like it, I'm probably gonna list it for 275, 300 because I know that the interest at 225 is there. Um, so that's probably a really good tip for you guys is to don't mark it as pending or sold the minute it does sell. Just test the water on see how many inquiries you get before it does actually get picked up. So 175 profit, antique style desk. The Hampton style does work, but the antique works as well. So keep an eye out for those because they sell for big money. And to prove the point on the Hampton style look, I managed to find this white Hampton style desk for just $40 on Facebook Marketplace. Now, whenever I buy an item on Marketplace, it's always been secured within the very first hour. And generally within half an hour, I've got to pick the item up. You've just got to be that quick. You've got to keep researching, find it, go and get it because it's going to sell to somebody else if you don't go right away. So managed to do that, managed to get this one for 40 bucks. Uh, it sold on the very same day, didn't have to do anything to it, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 type condition and I've relisted it for $150. So I've made 110 bucks on this desk. As much as the antique style desks are selling, the White Hamptons desks are selling as well. So it's a great category of furniture to get into. Um, $110 profit. Keep an eye out for the White Hampton style look for any furniture piece, uh, but the desks are selling well. Now this next item, guys, is my favorite sales item of the week. I picked this up for $25 only last Sunday. It was a black five drawer chest of drawers. Now, this was just a really classy piece. It had the gold handles. It had the real, you know, pure black look. Um, it was, somebody was going to snap this up pretty quick. So for $25, I had an absolute steal. Um, she said that the bottom runner wasn't working too well, and I went and had a look at it when I got back. I properly had a look at it. I grabbed it for $25, but when I got back home, I knew there was no work that actually really needed to be done to it. I just made a comment in my description saying the same thing, but it was a, a little faulty runner to it. Um, but I listed this for $150, and it sold next day for $150. Uh, which made me $125 profit. Now, if I hadn't bought it for $25, I really do think that these could probably sell for about $175 to $200. Um, so because I bought it at a slightly cheaper price of 25 bucks, that's why I went 150 on the sale price. Um, if I bought it for 50, I probably would have listed it for 200. I, I really do think you can make 150 bucks on these. Um, so awesome pickup, my favorite item it was just an awesome piece of furniture. Um, so to get 125 bucks on a next day sale, um, furniture, I've done pretty well on this week. Now I grabbed these 10 t-shirts and, and one of them is sold, which is this Nike top. I actually went to an estate sale um, and of all things that I bought, I came away with 10 tops. So a little bit weird, but um, bought 10 tops for $3 each, paid $30. This was one that first sold. $29 it sold for, I had free postage, so it was a $21.20 um, sale price for me. And when you take out your fees, um, I'm probably making about a $15 profit on this one. Um, so the first of 10 tees that I bought on that day and, and it's made me a $15 profit. So if that's the case for the remaining nine, I, I think I've 
I've done pretty well out of a $30 spend, but um, 10 day sales cycle on eBay, $15 profit, very good quality Nike top. They're just your bread and butters. They just do really well. So happy to get the first one done and hopefully a few more tees over the next few weeks. And my lucky number 10 item, guys, has been something that I'm actually gonna get into a little bit more. I found this in an op shop for $2. It was the Bisley or the Bisley. I'm not a trader myself, but I know that the brand is very good. Um, so this Bisley uh, long sleeve um, work shirt. Now, they do because they are really good quality and they do last a lifetime. They, they sell for quite a bit brand new. Um, so when I saw this for $2, anything like Hard Yakka or Bisley is gonna be a really great brand to buy. So I actually just, I wasn't looking for it obviously, but I stumbled across the brand and I secured it for $2. So I've listed this one on Facebook Marketplace and eBay, but it has sold on Facebook Marketplace to a guy in Northern Queensland. So I've added postage on for him as well in the instant message chat. Um, so it sold for $25 and I, I said, can you pay me an extra eight bucks for postage? Um, so won't make any money on the postage, but I made a $25 sale. So he's paid me 33, I've paid $2 for it. I've made a $23 profit and it was up on Facebook Marketplace for about 12 days. So I did renew the listing to bring it back up to the top of the listings. Um, and that's obviously generated some interest from this bloke that's picked it up. Um, so off Facebook Marketplace, there's no fees there. I've made $23 on a work shirt. And I really do think work pants and work shirts, work tees, um, they're just really good quality and they do cost a lot on retail price. Um, so if you can pick them up cheap enough in an op shop, they are a money maker on Facebook. So that are my 10 sold items of the week, guys. Hope you uh, really enjoyed that and you can find a few of those items out there yourself and make the same sort of money. Um, the part of the episode that I like to do as well is to go through my sales numbers for the week. Um, I've pulled the map up here for you now to have a look at. I've sold 21 items this week, which is a little bit less than what I'd normally do. I average about 25. So cost of goods has actually been a little bit more. It's $320. And that's because I've been buying more furniture this week. My total sales worked out to $1,283. That is a new record off the base of last week doing 1,100. I've now done 1,200 this week. So awesome to see the growth there. The profit was obviously from that increased as well. So I've made $963 this week at a profit margin of 75%. So a really cool thing as well, um, you know, while that has been a really great week and it has set me up with some, um, some new numbers that I've hit for the very first time, the other one that I've gone ahead and looked at today is my monthly sales for the for the month. So what I did in week one, two, and three, because there has been some really cool growth literally every single week. So I've got a map that I'll pull up here for you now. I've, I've sold in the first week of September, $674 worth of profit. Week two was 866. And then this week is $963. So as much as I'm enjoying seeing the sales numbers go up, it, it is more that growth aspect. I know it will plateau at some stage and I'm not going to get down about that because I know that that's just part of the part of the process. But you know, this month has just been a really fun month of constant growth. And I think it really does come down to just listing more, buying more great quality items, listing them up and, and making a good profit. So just hard work will obviously pay off at the end of the day. But um, yeah, hopefully that $1,000 profit isn't too far away. Um, I thought I'd show you those numbers to just say being consistent and persistent will get you through. Um, so yeah, keep working hard. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you got a lot out of this video. Um, let me know in the comments below what your best sold item of the week was because I do really love to hear that as well. Uh, but I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.